Tim is feeling nervous. He's about to jump off the high dive at the local swimming pool. There he goes. How far above the water is he shortly after jumping? To answer this question, we can look at the rational numbers on the number line. Let's see. The platform is 33 feet high. The tower is like a vertical number line. The surface of the water can be represented by zero. Above, we have positive numbers. Below the water, we have the negative numbers. Let's rotate the number line to a horizontal position to have a more precise look at how high Tim is above the water. As you can see at a first glance, Tim is somewhere between 20 and 30 feet above the water, or between 20 and 30 feet on the number line. To more accurately determine his location, we can zoom in to display a more detailed scale. Now you can see he's somewhere between 27 and 28 feet on the number line. Let's zoom in even more. We can divide feet into inches. As you know, there are 12 inches in one foot. So if you count from left to right on the number line, you land at 27 feet and three inches. This represents Tim's current location above the water. In math, we often look at the number line without units. Instead of using inch notation, we can write our position on the number line as a fraction with a value over 12 because we divide one whole into 12 pieces. Here we are at 27 and 3 over 12 on the number line. You to keep on learning, just follow the link in the video description. You'll get the full video and lots of fun interactive practice problems to test your knowledge.